Bond on the toe grounds. Billy Bond kicks off the line, which is start the reserve that off. Picked up by the ringer, put his foot on the line. Poor mistake from the kickoff. Bark all the way to the take straight from the wall, guy. Kevin Hoffer, the referee of the day, for the reserve grade class. Fred Boimani and Lost, Lost against Fred. Good work by Norwich. Second half takes it up. Good hit by Heavy Birch down low. A bit short out to the left of the road, back in, and they get an early penalty, Norwich. Inside the 10, Mr. Huff said. Been indecisive about what they want to do here. Keep the line, it's a shocker. Oh, Lily Burton had it picked up and would have scored untouched. He hasn't touched it, he hasn't got a hand out, so they'll play the top. Front row hits one in. Good hit by Laura Burton. Bit of fire in the back of the field pack today. Big got field takes it in. Slips a good pass out the back to the half pack. Beats one. Good car on top of a little half-back, Gareth Osmond. Oh, Marnie, sorry. Big Gareth, oh, Big Gareth got that one, sorry. Uh, poor pass back to the kicker. Good chase. Two little fellas finish him off. He still gets a kick away out to his other bloke. Bashy picks it up in his court line. Stepping, leaving. Oh, comes a big sudden halt there after that stepping. And he's put down on his clear line. Boots steps out of the half, good work, good yards. There's the back holding forwards. Right there's some corn for the ball. Might be going blindside Jason. And he's put down about, about 15 metres in his own half, 12 yards in from touch. Go the horse and Tony Hart gets away on the other way. He's picked up and driven. And a good tackle. Right down to Gareth Oven. Oh, shock of the pass down around his ankles. Can't pick it up. And off he's called offside. And the knock on. And he's called offside, so apparently the long reach. on their take now. They give it to the halfback to heal it up and he's just dropped it cold. Halfback's just dropped it cold. I don't even know what halfback's doing trying to heal it up. Forwards aren't too keen anyway. Barkey get the feed now on their own quarter line. And the, the scrum is a bit shocking from Barkey. They can't get the ball up. And he said we'll have it again. Barkey's got to get some weight in their second row. Two scrums now to uh, NCOs again. And he's pinning a long as halfway for not retiring. Good call, Hoffy. Good call. Bashing puts him in the touch. He should be. Doesn't want too much green, but safety first in him. Low balls and corn for the ball. A good hit there, puts him down, he's made a good 15 yards there though. Mr. Hoff referee from the left and there's no 10 metres whatsoever. Young Aaron Noble hits it up. Yep, the back of his head back on Marnie Burson and Tony Bashard. Good step inside, and again, he's got Eddie Breacher there, back inside his foot. Oh, and he's it. smashed on the 40-yard line. Quick play the ball, that's what they want, play the horse and beat the half. Gets it out to Gareth Osman, hook it in, out to Boots on the wing. Oh, and Boots dropped that ball there. But left in sick, ball one. Shouldn't let it go there. And 
Bryce Osmond. Puts it on the boat. It's a good pun too. Can't buy put in pressure on him. Uh, good tight bit of fullback. He's put down 10 yards left and he's on one right in the center field. Quick power ball. When he's way in, put it down by Kempo. Dummy half scoots. 80 yards up the middle for the bottom half. Good 10, 15 meters there, mate. Put down that right wall, someone's a bit knocked up already. Big front row hits it up. He got hit by Henry Gareth. But uh, I'm going to choose a fullback. Back inside. Uh, there's nothing on that tackle, so. Mr. Huff has seen fit to call up the captain. God knows why there's nothing in it. Jim Gareth must have had something to say with Mr. Huff about his decision. Telling you what it is. Lawrence now. Don't play and touch. Good take. Who's on that wing, Steve? Uh, good take by Steve back there. Inside and pull up for Jason. Jason Drew, I've been playing with last name is. And Tony Bash now hits it up in the middle. Oh, uh, speed Steve Duffers. Good pass out of the boots with quick hands. And the ball runs knocked on. No, back to one, says Mr. Hoff. Eddie Birch had done a half start at the middle. Good 10 yards there. No one wouldn't know. They're a bit bunch sparking. Oh, balls and oh, balls on him. Good hands to Gareth Oldham. Picks his wing up and boots down the sideline. Go down the quarter line. Couple of yards different touch. Sparky King for it. And there's the penalty. Look at that box set. Badly in touch at the lower. Goes himself. No room to work with there. Off the line. Quick pass ball for Badly. Put it up about half a minute short. Quick hands up to Marnie. Marnie goes for a whip. If they let it go, they'll score. They've got the numbers out well. Badly horse and bunny half. Switch back to the ball for the Bircher. Oh, no. Bircher is running on the boat. Scored all by no. And Eddie Bircher. So like Tony Bash is going to a blood bin, just cut the smack in the mouth, got a bit of, bit of claret coming out of him, and Shorty Hay is going back to fullback. Gareth Osmond attempting this kick from the sideline. Successful by Gareth. Couldn't get it to stand up right, so he took two pull last day and had a shocker. Long 
minutes to kick off now. They back on the lead four nil after ten minutes. Boot kick by the big center. And letting it bounce around. Good hands by Boots. Picks it up. Brings it back in. And he's brought down on his cord line. And a bit of fire on the boots today. Young man. Mills is also brought down. Didn't land on the screen there. Need a force to hit it out of here. Here's Jason Drew. It's a good run from him. Gets him an easy 10 yards. Goes out now to Marnie and Ian Carriman. Looking a bit flat. Slips it out the back. And they uh, dropped it. Longish come up with a pair on their corner line. On the back and corner line. Now, 20 metres out, go to blind side. It's another hit up, not really creating anything. Just racing tackles real. One quick hands out wide, right. Eddie Boots is a male offside out wide. Right. He comes up. Good tackle by Eddie Boots. <laughs> Lowell Dawson now gets out of the blind side, and he his own boots. Got a good hands back inside a shorty hold. He's brought down on the 10-yard line inside his own half. Boots are done in half now. Let's see it lower, looking inside. Takes on the big front row, runs clean out of the table. Takes on the next row, and he's slung to the ground. Good tackle there. I need to put him down. And he's got a bit to say with a little run for the pole. Back to Jason. On the blind side. Oh, and he's hit. Uh, takes a hit and keeps going. Good hit. Good run. Back is still hit done, so back line isn't anywhere to be seen. Alan Mace has got no good 10 yards. Barkey's got no back line whatsoever. Daniel Campson's the same when he's standing inside the fire road. Goes back to ball, one for a kick. Steps, gets a kick away. Put him in the kick, straight down the wing. He doubles it a bit, and he's picked up by the boots and driven down. Gets a foul ball out. Out to the second round, Alan Bronto. Beats one. And Hopper reckons. Uh, if he said hold it there, someone's taking the ball and back play. And um, over the hook, 10 yards away from the play, so it's cool playing out. Uh, in front row, hits one up, gets a one arm pass away, driven through the fenders, that was pretty good work. Lock now spins out of one tackle, put it down a good tackle around the legs by Eddie Belcher. One thing you can do, Eddie, is tackle. Goes out of half back, all the five eight now. It's a center with a good short pass, but he's brought down a good tackle there, Bill Bond. Quick play the ball, back to the blind side, half back. Chips down for a while, good work, Bill Bond picks it up. Just brought down pretty well on the same spot. Uh, Steve Beckley comes in and hits one in from Donnie Half, takes a bit of work off his forwards. Jason Jerry hits it up again. Doing a few hit ups, the big fella. And he's brought down. Just on the edge of the field, pitch around about halfway. That is awesome, done in half now. Gets it out to Marnie Balsam. Across the gas over him. Throwing dummies. Gets down and comes along the side, goes back in the field. And he's brought down. Didn't really go forward there, but he just went straight across the field. Eddie Balsam now wants it. Marnie hits him with a good short pass. Where's his man, Shirley Howard? Shirley Howard had two blokes on Mark inside of him, sure passed it. Quick play the ball's what I want. Daniel Thompson. And good work, Shorty Hayward. Dives into the corner. Scores a try. Barker go to a lead now of eight points to nil.
first one, and takes another kick from the sideline, not making it easy for him. Kicking through for that style, hasn't got the distance now in there. Score still eight points to no, back all his father. About 17 minutes gone in the first half. Slot forward kicks off now. Shocker of a kick. Down the court line. Marnie hits Eddie Butcher back on the inside. And he's pulled up for Australia. Oh, and he's barreled over by the lock. And a bit of a way hit there. And Vader looks for Marnie. Marnie hitting the right where he shouldn't be. The forward should be in there. Then Coven calls for it now on the open side. Puts one up, stand a bit flatter than Cove. And it's only makes about five yards. Jason Lee getting through his work by Jason making good yards for him. And he's put down about five yards over the advantage line. Bradley now out to Laura. Laura looking for a runner. Hits a hole himself. And he's put down in the middle of the cricket pitch. Quick play the ball. Bradley goes for a scoop down the blind side himself. Throws a stupid pass out of the back. Picked up by Longridge. And good, good cover there by Jason Dewey. Puts him down, 10 hours in his own half. Center now hits it up, big fella. Gets a good pass right down the sideline, and he's put his foot in the touch. Scrum there, about time I've had Shocker hit the scrums. And now Aaron Mayer hits it out by uh, waste of a tackle there, oh, should be getting back and hitting it up. Lara Dawson calls for it now. This time gives a pass to Garth, Garth out to Bashi, Bashi out the ball down, Bones and gets put down on a good tackle. Ten yards in his own half, Bashi goes a blind side and slips over. Makes about five yards, Eddie Birchin now, back out Daniel Crimson. Out there, Marnie, good hands from Marnie, pull that in. Mara Wilson now stepping back inside. He's held up in the middle of the cricket pitch on the halfway. Bradley now out to Garth. Garth puts a kick back across there for the back line. Daniel Kingston comes through, puts a bit of pressure on the line. And Henry Boots come up with a tackle. Halfback now goes for a scoot, runs straight in. Carvin misses him and he's put down 10 yards in his own halfway, Garth Osman. Quick play there right now, the big reserve player. Gets, gets a good off road back to his hooker. And the hooker can't get it around, he's brought down and caught him. Ah, uh, not half hour long, sorry. Pull back now, dummy half gets out with lock forward, running down the blind side. Doesn't really go anywhere, makes about five yards. Goes to half back now, 5'8. Big long pass out to his inside side now. Ah, it's just. Dropped him. I thought he came back on side. Mm -hmm. A little dicey decision there, knowing what happened, but Hoppy gives Barker the feed and Tony Brasher slips over again. He had a big gap there too, and he was away. He had to keep his feet. And he boots with good hands, very long, and he's dropped it. And we're back in another scrum. And he's hit the feet in the scrum 
with one and a half white tails in. As you'd expect. Held up there. By the halfback, Marnie Dawson. Good tackle for Andy Roots around the legs. And good chasing by Marnie as well. Fell only made about two metres. Gets out the reserve forward now. He gets it up. Big front run now. Hits it up for the match. He runs into Larry Dawson and he's back on the cricket pitch. Gets up, plays it now, goes out the second round, back to the blind side. Hits it up and he stays there and bit. Larry Dawson puts him around. Ten yards in, Barky half. Slow play the ball, goes out the half back now, dunks the kick, hits his power boat, straight in the gap. Larry Dawson holds him out, gets a pass back to his half back and he's held up and pretty much the same spot. It's a hang over there. Bow left by Long. Should have put a kick in at least. Gareth Evans now taps it forward and takes off. Goes up. Tony Bassett. Oh, that's what I thought. Gareth Evans passed over. Breaks it down the sideline. Uh, he's over the spectacular. And it goes over the sideline. Right on halfway again. So we'll have another scrum. Good work by Tony Bassett. He created something in the blind side. Bradley Horson coming off, Shirley Harvard going back on. Shirley's going on the hook of the stump. Very versatile in there. Long HP. Man the ball as you expect again. Fullback dances around a bit. Hit. Mr. Hoff is called out a high tackle, which it was, but there's no analysis in it. And he just tied my own keeping down. Kick the touch now, and that one is picked in. Uh, they found touch before, only made about two metres up. And a big second round, and Dot hits it up. Makes ten yards, and Dot wants to go on with it. Jason George has been, he hasn't been playing, he's been told to keep his tackles down, that's about it. Front row hits up, gets a good back foot to the other big Gundy front row. He does the same thing. Gets it out there, big center now, draws his knee, hits him here down the side now, goes back inside. And that ball might have been ripped out, was it? Yep. Mr. Hoff right on the spot, as always, on the top left there is the central west. What's he got to pick from? <laughs> and that kick is found touchable and all the right. Both sides taking it few chances where the kicks were tossed away. And that hits it up. Doesn't no point in doing that. He's going to try it on the wheel. going to smash him. Goes back to Bronx over the half back, Holding it up. Straight back inside of him. Cove in. Cove in. Sweet bit of barrel. Closed on him quickly though. Gets a good for quick play to do away. That half back had a bit more left side from Martha. Sure, he holds. Steps around the front row. Should have passed it. He got him. So they've done the work and cried over that and got smashed for his troubles. Tony Bass is stepping and leaving now. Lost back and leaving, coming back up because he don't know where he's going. Goes out now, Marnie is out to the Gareth. Marnie just from across the hits Kimbo with a good pass. Camps in the air, he's still still losing his boots. The boots, the boots put down on halfway. Camp out down on half, goes back to Marnie, uh, Gareth. Gareth tips from himself down the blind side. And the winger picks it up, does well to stay in touch there. Oh, Billy Bond went for a big hit there, it didn't come off. And he gets... Well, there's some shot in his pass, they raise up to themselves a bit there, they're getting a bit silly. He has a big front row and hits it up. Lloyd Dawson bounds him up, coming in with the line and drove him in the mud. Good tackle. It wasn't a spare tackle. He landed, landed on his face. It wasn't a spare tackle. Billy Vaughn now gets a power on those misses. Another tackle. Goes out to the line. He steps back inside and Billy cleans him up with the help of Gareth uh, Marnie Dawson. God, they look the same from what I've been on. Goes out now to half back. Puts in a kick. Ordinary kick straight to Tony Bassett. Worst bloke to kick there. Picks it up with a second attempt. Oh, and Mr. Hoff's called him up then. You are kidding me. I think the 
the referees at four and twenty, mate. I feel a little hard done by a ref. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. goes in there from Lawrence Halfback. Wins it, goes up and side. Mm -hmm. uh, brought down there, Gareth, only about two metres out. Mm -hmm. Goes from Dunny Half. Might have scored, has he? Mm -hmm. And he has. Big second miles played over from down here. So it takes a date four right next to the post. Lines up, moves in. Looks a bit better than what Marley's uh, gas been doing, but not good enough. Satan left it turned off at the last break. Longish kicked off now. Bradley Dawson picks it up on his 10 yard line. Doesn't go anywhere, gets put down in the same spot. Try to hold it down the half. Puts Aaron Mayer down the ground, so Mayer up the big front row. Makes a good 10 yards. Bradley down the half again. Also hits it's a bounce out of Mark Hayden. Puts his head down. And he makes another five yards. Good one. Good tackle by the hooker. Goes out now, Marnie to Eddie Vulture, hitting it with a bit of pace. Breaks one tackle, it's still going, flicks it back to uh, Hawk, Brado. Goes out to Marnie, Marnie Jazz, Jazz to Kimbo, Kimbo to Billy, Billy can't beat his man on the outside, back inside to Kimbo though. Oh, he's off the ground. Good decision there by Mr. Hoff. He's a top referee, this fella. Best referees have seen the rest of the scene for a while. <laughs> Long reach now, front row hits it up. Gets a bit, a bit of pace. Doesn't do him any good though, he's picked up and driven back. Get a fire in the back of forwards, I think they dispute Mr. Hoff's decisions. Second round now, hits it, angles back in towards the play ball, doesn't make any ground. Put down the iron nose in Mark Hayden. Throws it down to the left forward, beats one tackle, beats two. Can't get the ball away, right arm is brought down. Ten yards in the back, is half out on the sideline. Does it now, long pass to half out. Even longer pass to his play out. Backs around, picks up his full back. And he's not really going in there, the pass is pretty good, and they're putting a bit of pressure on themselves. Billy Bond wants to go on with it. Don't know why. Front row and hits it up. Tries to get one around the back of it, does it, but he's always dropped it. He's a good ball by the big front row. He's done a good work there, driven too far, 
Jazz and slip a good pass. Boots plays in, goes to Billy Vaughan, goes for a scoop from down half, doesn't make any yards. Goes out near Gareth. Damani standing there, got a little cave over his chest. Doesn't want to go anywhere. And he's about 10 yards, 15 yards in his own half. Goes around the arm, maybe wrapping around now. And he's brought down one and sideways a bit the boys. And he's dropped the ball. He's playing on, says Hoffy. Almost now looking for a try just before half time. Halfback hits the ball, so going on his own and what this halfback. Barfield the phone on the line. Oh, they've got a foot this halfback. And Barfield says, what we do? We'll shift it in here and play it in the boys. Bring it around the time match. The winner plays it now. Goes out with a big front row again. The time up. And he's brought, brought down by the smallest bloke on the field, young guy. Yeah, big quick out of marker there. He goes out to the 5'8. Campo just lets that pole run past him. Goes out to the net and big manky pole throws a shock at his man. All he'll do is get a good pass and he's going to score. Goes back to the other side now. Full weight. Cuts a few out. Goes to the front row. He wasn't expecting it. Front row standing in the back line. Picked up by Trevor Howard, good work, Trevor. Bradley Horse and then takes him over the street and he's dropped it. And the ref says pulled out. Good to see him, Mr. Hoff. So he told you he's all right. Mark him out. Good kick there from Campo. Gets him up to about a halfway line on the far side of the field. Steve Bethel hits it in, running a bit sideways, looking for someone. No one there for him, and he gets battered. Midfield on the cream pitch from the halfway line. Bradley Wilson, that mark has got to be nailed or so. Bradley Wilson's pulled in. And Hoppy's called time out because that guy's still down on the back play. I don't know why he just don't walk him off. Now he decides to get up and. says you're a dog mate, we'll keep you on. Goes out Bash, he slips over again. Bash is just having a shocker on his feet. Nice Trevor Howard. Wide ball right there. Cove slips a bit in the mud on the pitch. He's standing flat, Barky, he's just not hitting the ball anymore. Trevor now out to Marnie. Let's go to Gower. Kicks down for his wings. And he goes on a touch by a 15 yard bit, uh, longest try line. Yeah, three minutes till half time. Can back and put one on here against the boot. Oh, well. There you go, Rez has left out five minutes just out of the game. It's just through pure stupidity. I'm not turning the cannon back on. <laughs> Shut up, Mitchell. Uh, Long as played the ball, it's held up a bit in the scrum. Long as Fafa gets it out, lets himself get taken towards the sideline now. He plays it back now, goes out the second half, standing flat, runs it in the air and over and Mark Holt and good tackle there by the boys are putting down just the other side of the field line. Goes out with a big front row and got a bit of ball skills. This player pops a good pass to the fullback. This fullback shines on shot as well. Goes out near the centre in a bit of space, steps inside, outside, back inside again. Still going to leave far out, they let him run. Jumps to Bash and Bash and drops him on his tracks. Bash lays on him a bit. Good work, Bash. Gives his boys time to get back on the side. Away they go again, the fullback throws out to his player eight. Comes across the end, put down by Billy, was it? No, Eddie Wurcher, sorry. And then go. Goes back to the front row down the middle. Plenty of room there for him to run. And he's put down by Billy Bond and Kobo on the left of it. Someone else. Double sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll hog it and score. Barkey's picked up the ball here now, and someone's here. Barkey fires out in back play, so we have another hold up. Oh. And I've called for the back bar. How are you, folks? Cool, does. There's your fumble, put it better in. 
And Lawrence has lost that in the foul ball. Come back against the penalty, 10 yards off their try line. Goes out now, Kempo kicks it out. Gains about 15, 20 metres there. Bradley Horson gets it away now. That's Eddie Boots, he goes, picks up Mark Aitman down the middle. Good run from Mark, does a good 10 yards. Quick play the ball, gets it out Bradley now. Turns it back inside to Trevor Hayward. And Trevor doesn't really go far. Just driven across the field. Bradley looks to his right. And that's what, uh, and then he goes left. Goes to Bash, he's ooh, hitting a bit of a high shot there around the corner. And he's pulled up, and up he says that'll do us for that little bit.
We never spoke about what happened, at least not to each other. Fear, I suppose, that to remember his name or what he did would mean letting him into our dreams. And me, I hardly dream about him anymore. Still, things won't ever be the way they were before he came. But that's all right, because if you hang on to the past, you die a little every day. And for myself, I know I'd rather live. best-selling author of Sus If your children like watching Disney's The Little Mermaid on television, they'll enjoy reading this weekly magazine starring Ariel and her friends, including lovable Flounder and Krabby Sebastian. There are exciting stories every week, some of which will be featured on regular tapes to help them read. There are pictures to colour and things to make and do, as well as this real-life nature watch to encourage them to take an interest in the creatures that live in the sea. Don't miss part one of Ariel's World. Tough dirt's hard work when you're using a thin liquid. You need power. The power of Jif Cream. Thick, powerful Jif Cream tackles even burnt-on grease at a stroke. So cleaner, shiny surfaces are even easier. Jif Power Cream makes light work of tough dirt. That's the power of Jif.
The 8th Annual Santa Catrudas and Santa Cross Accredited Commercial Store Cattle Sale will be held Friday, April 7th at the Roma Sale Yards. 3,000 head have been booked, including attractive lines of one brand Santa cattle on account the breeder. 1,600 number three and four steers, 1,000 heifers, some lines pregnancy tested in calf, 100 large frame Santa cows and 300 cows and calves. The sale is sponsored by Innes Plain Santa Bull Sale and $2,000 in bull credits will be available. For further information, contact Del Getty Roma. XL Vehicle Parts is sourced directly from leading component manufacturers, offering you parts equivalent in quality with full 12 months, 25,000 kilometre warranty at a fraction of the cost. Like clutch and pressure plate assemblies for UD Nissan, Mitsubishi, Hino and Isuzu trucks, save up to 30%. And engine valves for all makes of Japanese manufactured trucks, save up to 40% now. XL provides you with a real alternative when it comes to quality, when it comes to a lower price. Do your body a favour. Fitness Warehouse. Look better and feel better. Welcome back. Nine cameras tonight, bringing you the third test from Brisbane. Again to the trans.